Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. I would like to present you my review of EVO 8. 4 ins, 4 outs, USB-C audio interface from Audient. So without further ado, let's start from unboxing. Audient is very well known British Pro Audio gear manufacturer. It produces different kind of Pro Audio hardware, but it's mostly known for professional, very easy to use from my own experience, studio analog mixing consoles, very high quality, extremely capable audio interfaces, and some other studio peripherals. Evo is some sort of sub-brand which has been announced a couple of years ago and this interface to my understanding is one of the first products Evo brand brought to the market. It caught my attention due to quite innovative functionality, easy to use, so to say design and a form factor. In this nicely designed carton box we've got small folder with overview of the functionality Evo 8 itself and USB-C to USB-C cable. Here is the list with specifications. So let's see. Here we've got a small folder or inlay, as I would call it, with very easy to understand description and functions overview. I believe one does not need more than that for starting up with this little 4x4 USB-C audio interface. Further, we've got USB-C to USB-C connection cable, very good made, quite thick, and sturdy by the look and feel of it. And finally, EVO 8 itself. It is quite small and light for that kind of functionality. Audient EVO 8 has 4 ins and 4 outs. Could handle 24-bit 96kHz on all 8 channels. It has a completely plastic build. It also feels very very light and easy to handle. On top you've got one big multifunctional rotary knob plus six knobs which correspond to every one of four input channels, smart gain and 48 volt microphone phantom power. Everything is very easy to understand and operate. Very well done from my point of view. From the front side we've got two high quality independent headphones out and JFET instrument input which comes in on channel one. From the back we've got four high quality balanced microphone instrument combo inputs made by Amphenol, which is very well known for its high quality, supported by high performance EVO preamps. Also on the back side we've got four independent balanced outputs. It is seriously full packed. When connected to an Apple iPad Pro 11, it got instantaneously recognized by the iPad OS as plug and play audio device. It integrates absolutely perfectly. You can adjust iPad Pro system volume with the multifunctional rotary knob on the EVO 8. Now let's try it out in recording mode. For that I'll connect stereo ins with two mono XLR cables to channels 1 and 2. Condenser microphone to the channel 3, headphones to the headphones output number 1 and connect it all to the iPad Pro 11 with USB-C to USB-C cable. Now in Cubasis, let's create three independent mono tracks, armed, phantom power on, and we are good to go. One more thing, let's make it all in 96 kHz studio quality. Now hit the record, and it goes. It integrates absolutely perfectly. The same story with the Apogee Meta Recorder app. Everything is fully integrated, easy to use and logical. In this setup I'm using two separate mono channels instead of one stereo pair, which is obviously also possible if needed. Next, I would like to talk about Traktor Classic iOS app. 
whereas you can send two separate stereo channels out through four independent mono outputs on EVO 8. Therefore, one could use classic scheme, whereas main out goes through the channels 1 and 2, and headphones or monitor out through the channels 3 and 4. It is also possible to send both separate stereo outs through the channels 1, 2, 3 and 4, and use analog mixing console with iPad Pro as double deck and external mixer setup. Android OS is not Pro audio friendly. There is a very big difference in handling audio streams between Apple iOS and Android. I tried EVO 8 with number of Android applications, like this Edging DJ app, for example. It works well as plug and play audio device, but I could not initiate all four channels to work with any of the apps correctly. Now I would like to do some other tests. For that matter, I would use my own Hi-Fi stereo out connected with the TRS to the channel 1 and 2. The point of this particular test is to try out that peculiar smart gain, automatic volume adjustment functionality. As soon as connected, as in previous time, it's got recognized by the iPad OS and all systems ready to go, so to say. The best test is an easiest one. So I'll use my old record player as a source and Apogee meta recorder up on the iPad Pro for recording. Now I've got two channels coming in. Let's adjust volume on left. Just press the channel knob and then adjust the volume. Very easy. Now let's do the same for the right channel. As you can see, it's all very, very easy. But how about the smart gain? First, press smart gain knob in order to initiate. Then press needed channel or channels and then press the Smart Gain knob again. It takes a couple of seconds or some seconds. And boom, here we go. Perfectly calibrated auto gain get at its work. I have also used Audient EVO 8 with PC and a Mac. In those cases, Audient recommends to use EVO application. It is easy to download from Audient website. This app makes possible to use different system setups, as for example, Master Mix or Artist Mix. Unfortunately, I have to say that I did experience some problems with USB-C connection. It seems that USB-C cable could not stay firmly in the connector. Nevertheless, if I'm not going to consider USB-C connection as a serious thing, EVO 8 is exceptionally easy to use and fantastic sounding interface, which sounds very musical, airy, powerful, and just as all other high quality hardware from Audient. And that would be all for now. Thank you for joining in. Thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe and see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.